Don't worry, Chad, I totally forgot to uh, hit the wrong fucking game again. Your boy literally is... And he has no idea what he's doing, obviously. Absolutely no idea. I'm out here literally clicking the wrong game and everything. But that's okay, that's okay. We all love spirit tracks. So, you know, what does it matter? What does it really matter at the end of the day? Let's be honest here. It's still a game. It's still a Zelda game, does it? Are, I think you guys are complaining about the unimportant things here. Okay. Alright. Okay, well, let me go ahead and change back to the game I'm supposed to be playing. Fix my hair for a second, because my hair is a little... I don't know why it felt a little tense, but... It's alright. I've had part of my hair tied up all day, but it's not like... I didn't tie it up in, like, an aggressive way. I don't... Whenever I, like, you know, tie my hair in, like, a ponytail or something, I never tie it tight, because you don't want to mess up your hair, after all. You, ne you never want to do that. But, I did. For some reason, it was getting a little bit of stress on it, so... I might take my hair out of the uh, ponytail here in a minute. Since it feels so... stressed. Which is weird, because it's not like my hair has moved at all. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, I'll leave it alone for now. I'll leave it alone for now. Oh, you know what? I think it's from the headset. Maybe. Hello there. Well, hello there. Welcome in. I don't know who it is, but welcome in. I'm about. To, I'm still pulling up my chat. <laughs> sorry about yesterday. What you sorry about yesterday for? You're good. Yeah, chat, I'm gonna untie my hair. It's with the beanie on, it's a little bit too much. That's okay. Here, give me one second. Welcome in, Birches. Welcome in, Golden Swordsman. Welcome anybody else hopping in. Yes, how are you all doing? And I'm honestly not sure. Oh, I'm sorry if I seemed off by it. Uh... Oh, no, you're good. You're good. I'm pretty sure, Golden Swordsman, I don't think you've ever actually said anything that was very off-putting. Yeah, you're good. I would just say you... Um probably perceived it a little bit different, because, uh, well, honestly, let me think. Yeah, yeah, so if you're, you're talking about last night, right? Yeah, you're talking about yesterday. Yeah, no, yesterday, I was, uh, oh shit, I forgot to change the visuals, hold up. Yeah, no, don't worry, yeah, no, I, if I did seem off yesterday, I promise it was nothing from stream. Um, I've, I've just had stuff not relative to stream going on. So I've been, uh, obviously focused on that a little bit. Yeah, no, don't, don't worry. I, uh, no, no, nobody in chat, to my own knowledge, bothered me yesterday. That I know of, anyways. Okay, I think that's, yeah, we're good. We're good, because that's the corner of that, and that's the top of that. Cool! There we go. Now! Now we're gaming. I'll say, I think you have a larger dog, don't you, uh, Birches? So it is going to definitely uh, tire you out a little bit. The, um... Yeah, no. You're, you're good, Golden Swordsman. Do, do not stress yourself, my man. I promise. He who chooses the hidden path over the long road will cross in time. The hidden path. He who chooses the... I don't... 
I have no idea. Okay, I'm assuming that's the hidden path. Oh, Lameo, that just kind of falls. Wait a second, is there a fucking wall right here? There is! Huh! Let's see what that does. Come on! Yeah, I don't know. Weird. This game's so fucking weird. But yeah, no, no. If you guys are worried about it, I was a little um off put yesterday, but it was not it was not from anything that you guys were doing. No. I was just a little uh shaky yesterday. I I had something uh going on outside of stream that was uh on my mind, therefore I was thinking about it rather than about my stream. So it had me a little uh, mentally distracted. Jesus. What way do I go, game? English Bulldog? Yeah, that's already pretty heavy. 60 plus pounds. His name is Bo, and he's an old man. Hey, that's okay. You're taking care of your old man. He's doing his best. As an adorable old man English Bulldog. Oh, by the way, Birches. Well, first, I'll go ahead and ask. Um, weird. Uh... How did your hangout with your friends go yesterday, Golden Swordsman? And how was the end of Final Fantasy XV today, uh, Birches? Because I wanted to, uh, you know, be there during it, but sadly, um, I happened to not be able to be there because my phone was not wanting to work at work, so instead I was having to, uh, you know do other things at work. I, at le I did at least get a lot of posts done, at the bare minimum, you know? Like, even if I wasn't going to be able to uh, join in for your stream, I at least was able to get a shit ton of my uh, daily posts done, which at least that was a positive, you know? Well, like, uh, okay, I know that... Well, like, I said that was my first time being drunk drunk. It was fun, but also really weird. Yeah, I know a lot of people get, uh, you know, drink a little bit here and there. It's how they relax and everything. I mean, I guess it makes sense. People, pe people say it, like, lowers their stress. Which I know a lot of people do a bunch of different things to lower their stress. Some being healthier than others, and, you know. But, I, I'm not, I'm no one's mom, so, like, you guys won't see me telling anybody else how to live. The only time I ever get picky about, um, people's habits is whenever I'm around them consistently in person, you know? If I'm around somebody consistently in person, I can't really be around drinking or smoking or really anything. That's hilarious. It was just as funny the 14th time. Um, but yeah, no, I just, um... I know Bro did not just do that. Hold up. Hold up, chat. You're about to see a big brain play right here. What? What? So I can't do bomb shoes. Damn. That's just a fucking shame. Go, go, go! There's a fucking cliff there! I failed. Yep. I was too slow. God damn it. Hold up, Chad. I got this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is gonna be close, but I think it's doable. No! You son of a bitch, I was so close! Okay. Um I did not complete it. I used Umbra's time uh time travel to go back and wrap up some side quests. Couldn't handle going into the crystal and the nightmare of insomnia on the same day. <laughs> you know what? 
absolute, you know, fair. Honestly, entirely fair. It, it's a depressing time with that game. It really is. Like, the very end of Final... I will say, thankfully, you're getting to play it on, like, a little bit of a better time than what I did. When I initially played Final Fantasy XV, there wasn't really anything in Insomnia. It was basically just empty. Because I, I, I think I told you guys before, but I played on, I played Final Fantasy XV, like, on release. And the game was sadly very empty on release. Which is just a shame. It was fun, though. It was a fun time. It, was, it just happened to be very empty. It still had a lot of its charm. It was just some of the uh, story, story relative details and polish wasn't there. Like, I, they did add quite a lot since the game, like, released. I Like, they added a fuck ton of things, but I will say the game was still worth my time, even before they fixed everything. Um, all it did for me was make me wobbly and laugh a lot, and I couldn't hold things properly. You know, th this isn't really the same, but that reminds me, being up saying your hands wobbly and everything else and couldn't hold things properly, that reminds me when I landed my entire body weight on my left hand and basically nearly ripped apart my left hand tendon. And, uh, yeah, let's just say that shit hurted maybe a little bit. And, yeah, it was, uh, my god. If it was nearly as difficult as that was for me, I completely understand. That shit was not happening. I was not getting anything done with my fucked up hand. So. Completely understandable. Um, can I, like... No? Okay. You bet. Whatever, game. Whatever. Back up this way. Where's this go? Oh, there's turtles! <gasps> if this is what people uh, do for fun, then hell to the no on that. Anyway, I'm continuing Persona 3 Reload. I now have a do dog Persona user, so that's dope. And a robot Persona user. Wait, I thought the Persona characters... So wait, so like dogs and robots can have Personas as well? That's pretty cool. You know, I probably need to have some other items, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna fuck off. No! I knew it! You have to be ever so cautious, chat. You never know what's lurking around every corner. Um, once again, I believe, as everyone already knows, um, only, I will only be playing this game for a little while. Um, simply because it does actively hurt my hand to play this game. Um, usually I can go at least an hour just fine, so do expect somewhere around an hour of playtime for this tonight. Um, I'll probably switch back over to Three Hopes, as I've been mostly doing. Um, but yeah, I'll be playing this and then probably Three Hopes a little bit after as well. Probably around the time we get close to like 12-ish is when I'll do that. There was one of these things earlier, I wonder what it is. I think I saw one in the Temple of the Ocean King too. Looks like a switch, but it's rusty and probably won't budge if you stand on it. Ah, oh, we must be getting the hammer from uh, Link to the Past. Or like, you know, the Megaton hammer from uh, Ocarina of Time. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently there is. Um, I mean, I know there are a lot of people out there that do get drunk for fun. Like I said, it depends. Some people do it to relax, some people do it for fun. Um, it just depends. Um, to be honest with you, the best thing I can think of is it like to make people, you know, think a little bit less, but to be fair, I don't, I don't know about for other people, but if I were to drink something or smoke something, and then it made me think less, all it would do is prolong my, uh, anxiety. So it wouldn't help, it would make me more anxious, and with me being bipolar, it would make me incredibly dependent on it. Like, as soon as I started smoking something, I would be basically be addicted to it immediately. Because it would be like, 
Well, is it? Since it would be already regular, I would already regularly be hyper stressed. If I were to like, like smoke or drink, and then like that, you know, go along with it. Actually, you know what? I'll use my dad as a great example. I'm pretty sure most of my mental issues come from my dad. My mother says she has them, but my dad is way worse. Um, basically, once my dad got a hold of drinking and anything, he basically dove, he nosedived to the fucking center of the earth into hell for like 35 years. And I don't really want to do that. I mean, granted, during those 35 years, my dad was pretty chill. I like I liked my dad both then and now. But I, I would love to live my life without cocaine, heroin, cocaine, heroin, weed, <laughs> insert other drug he's done that I don't know about. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like I, I will, I will happily live without it. Touch the footprint, slam the pillar. Oh, that's pretty cool. The fairy does it for you? That's so dope. That's such a cool way to go about it, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Dude, there's no way the fucking fairy handles the hammer for you. That's beautiful. There are no treasure chests on this floor. There's also no bitches on this floor, because you're here. Shredded, bro. Absolutely fucking bodied. Enjoy your night drive. Go cr Imagine trying to go through a temple and the main thing in your way is some crusty ass buttons. You hate to see it, chat. You hate to see it. Damn. It's been 17 minutes and my left hand wrist is already hurting. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this going to be a 30 minute stream instead of a- Hold up, I gotta figure something out here. <sighs> what is something I can put in my lap? And don't say Yodi from Three Houses, okay? Even though it's- <laughs> He won't be sitting in my lap, I'd be sitting in his, in his lap, alright? Actually, I don't know. Honestly, don't know if I'm more feminine than that man. I might be. It's debatable. Let me stack some books up in my lap and try to do that. Oh, goodness. Well, um... So you went to go back in time for the, uh... What was it? For the Final Fantasy XV. Um, well, what, what did you end up doing when you went back? And also, how did Noctis look in his cat catboy outfit post-time skip? I imagine hilarious. Jesus. Of course, I'm wearing pants with fucking stuff on it, so it's gonna... Yeah, it's okay. Let me try to stack these books up to where I can... Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ow. Okay. I need to put one or two more things under this real quick. Let me do... My beanie and this controller. That actually works pretty nice. There you go. Okay. This will help my hand a fucking lot. Okay. This feels awkward as hell, but... You know, to each their own, I guess. Um... Nope, not that way. Not just as scruffy as... Scruffy as fucking hell post time skip. He is, he is. He's got a lot of, he he's got a lot of that just, you know excess um uh, unshaven face a little bit. Like he doesn't really grow a beard, he just kinda grows that uh all that just excess hair. Which I can relate to because I do the same thing. I don't really grow a beard. I I mean I probably could, but I'd never want to. Are you serious? The hammer insta kills them? My god. So I don't know how weird this looks. This probably looks super weird, but yeah. I actually am playing now. Now this also might hurt my right hand wrist because I'm kind of like out of position, but it's not hurting my left hand because my left hand was actually kind of killing me. I try to be careful on my left hand since that's the one that, uh, what was it? They got fucked up so long ago. 
So, like, my left wrist is actively weaker than my uh, right wrist because of all that, uh, because of the incident of nearly shattering my fucking left, uh, or sorry, tearing open the tendon on my left uh, hand. Which, by the way, that was so fucking painful. And the funniest shit, too, is I played it off so much whenever it happened. Like, fucking, I'm talking full-on comedy movie moment. When I fucking nearly ripped open this tent, ripped, ripped apart the tendon on my left hand, the first response I had, full body landed on my left hand and everything. I got up, and I, they were like, are you good? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> I literally did finger guns. I snapped, did finger guns, and was like, I'm gonna go lay down for a minute. I was so not okay. It was it was terrible. Oh, I got 10 on the Courage one. Nice. I can actually go back to the uh, Courage Island now. Or back to the island for the uh, fairies. Um, Being stuck in the crystal for 10 years didn't give me a fucking shower. Right? See, that's actually right when my phone started cutting out. Is right when you, right when you were saying that. Getting stuck in a crystal for 10 years, bro didn't get to bathe one fucking time. Truly a fucking atrocity. Um, so that made it even worse. Street cat looking ass. Ooh. What does that do? Oh. Does that move it or does that have to be my sword? It has to be my sword, okay. Oh no! Bodied. Fucking shredded. <laughs> Edgy gamer didn't even know what the puzzle was, and he figured it out. The path will open when, my when mighty attacks change the color of tiles. Well, you see, Edgy gamer's built different, so he didn't even need to think about the puzzle. He had that shit figured out days beforehand. Wee! Oh, nice arrows. I actually needed those. The guy. What a pal! Um, oh, does the bow activate it? Ah, the bow activates it. That I did not know. Okay, so bombs don't, but arrows and swords do. I appreciate that game. Very, very nice of you. Jesus. Trying, hold up. Wait, hold up. Oh, you can just do it from the distance too? I didn't even realize that. Well, that's kind of like cheating, isn't it? That's basically cheating. You can't just have me solve the puzzle by being able to bang next to it. But I guess that's kind of part of the puzzle. Thinking literally outside of the box. I'm not thinking outside of the box. I'm legitimately, literally thinking outside of the box. Which is kind of beautiful in its own right, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let me go ahead and bring out the bow. The good old bow and arrow. What the hell? I don't see anything there, but okay. Yeah, I'm confused. Oh, wait, hold up. That's totally fair. Let me, uh, here, first let me go over here. I feel like there's something over here I'm missing. Great example, all the hearts and bomb shoes. But also, what's down here? 
Oh, was that like the extra way that I didn't need to go? I don't have a boss key. Also, what the fuck is this? Do Hold up. What is this room layout? Also, what a puzzle. Honestly, kind of loving these puzzle puzzles. You know what it's making me think of? I imagine a lot of chat has probably already played Undertale. Doesn't this look like the uh, puzzles from Undertale? There we go. It reminds me of those different tile puzzles that they had inside of uh, Undertale that I thought were pretty interesting. Sadly, I've still never played Undertale, but also the, the kind of point is like everyone's played Undertale or they've everybody's watched somebody play Undertale. So even if I went back and like, you know, played it, the story and like what to do for each story beat is already pretty much understood. So it's kind of like it, it kind of defeats the purpose of like, you know, playing it myself. But, that's okay. I don't know, maybe at some point I'll go back and play. Just to do a full playthrough since I'd never played it before. Had anybody in chat ever played Undertale, or are you guys just like me? Only ever seen someone play it. Open the path, create the true... Wait, what? Open the path, create the true form here. Form here? Oh my god. Oh, now we're cooking! That's such a silly ass noise. Boom. Talk about snippity sniped. That was dumb. Okay, I've played this game long enough. I know how this shit works. Also, it's really interesting to have stuff like that. See, this is some classic Zelda game design right here. Having the game, um, having it, oh, my ears just cleared up for some reason, I can hear a lot better. Um, but yeah, no, having the game, wait, red and blue, when they are aligned in their true form, the path will open. Oh, hold up, hold up. See, now I have some cooking to do. I'm going to have to align this one with the one down there. Okay, so I need red all the way through the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I've almost got it exact. I need to get rid of the corner there. I need to get, ooh. There's that one, and then that one, right? Edgy gamer, puzzle master. I know. I know. Dude, I'm just, I'm literally fucking gaming. I honestly think that the, um, oh Jesus, I think I might have fucked myself over. Boing. Ah, I'm good. Oh no, I can walk over. Good. Um, yeah, no, that's fucking awesome. I am loving this. I love these classic Zelda puzzles and all the different things they have that come with it. It's always so cool to me. Um, I have a bizarre patchwork knowledge of Undertale lore due to my roommate and my girlfriend both being obsessed with it. That's understandable though, there's a lot of cool stuff in Undertale that to where if you're going to be obsessed with a game, that's a very reasonable one to be obsessed with, you know? Like, that one's entirely fair, I would say. Sorry, I was checking something. Mm. Ow. Um, but you played for like an hour and didn't want to keep playing, lol. <laughs> okay, okay. I do have to ask, what uh, what turns you off from the game, Virtues? Not a big fan of the, uh, and don't, do not worry, there will, there will be no opposition of hot takes in, well, okay. 
for the most part, there will not be any opposition of hot takes in, in my uh, stream. I uh, I honestly love, you know, the different differing opinions of people, so. As we all know. As we are all very well aware of. Oh, wait, hold up. Dude, why do I just know how to solve every puzzle in this game at first glance? Is my brain really that big? No no wonder my first ex called me Megamind. Wait, that was my second one, I think. Which, by the way, was such a compliment and such an insult at the same time. Because being compared to, you know, Will Ferrell was pretty beautiful, pretty great. And also, I fucking love Megamind. But then I was told I looked like Megamind, and I was like, come on. Of all the things you could say is similar, you have to say I look like the motherfucker? You couldn't have went with anything else? Hurt my feelings. The pain was too great to bear. Ooh, goodness. Then the game played, uh... Gameplay might have just not kept my attention while the story did, which made me frustrated. Or sorry, I think I read that wrong. There's a question mark there. I think the gameplay might have just not kept my attention while the story did, which made me frustrated? There you go. Did I read it right? I feel like I read it right. I feel, I feel like I put the right amount of emotion in it that time. You got it about right, lol. See, chat? My voice act, my voice acting career, you guys all get to witness it on stream. Nah, see, if I do voice acting, I'll still the spot, steal the spotlight with my angelic voice. It's so beautiful that it shatters glass. You know, like a banshee in the night, in the middle of a bog. Stealing the souls of sailors. See, I could have said stealing the soul... Stealing, uh, stealing the souls of semen, but you get, you know, I'm not that dumb. I'm, n I'm not the, uh, what is it, the Oblivion chick? My bed is reserved for things that don't involve semen, okay? We are not the same. Can I, like... Throw it, Link, please! Thank you. Okay, great. Great! Great. Great. Oh, I'll figure this out eventually. Wait, I think I need to go down. What am I doing? What the hell do I think I'm doing? Pretty sure we need to go this way. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this is the way we need to go. What was I thinking? You're kidding! Fucking wrecked. What a goddamn nerd. See, they're not losers like chat. Losers are cool. Loser! You're a loser! But, in fact, they're nerds. Isn't it great how I use losers as, like, a friendly term, but I use nerds as an insult? Like, isn't that interesting? Isn't that truly inquiring of your curio curiosity? You know what a motherfucker said to me today? Looking at me like he's fucking Eminem with, a di with an encyclopedia and dictionary in his back pocket. Bro was crazy. Dude looked at me, and of course, like I told you guys, I work, I work retail. So I'm over here talking, right? And I'm like, hey, man, uh, do you want your receipt? And this motherfucker looked me square in the face. I kid you the fuck not. Looked me in the eyes and said, oh, it's not too imperative. Like, are you, are you trying to use big words like you think I don't know what imperative means, motherfucker? Like, I don't know why I felt so angry. I don't know why I felt so attacked. But, like, I know what imperative means. Obviously, it's not that crazy of a word, but I had not heard anybody use imperative in, like, ever at my job, even once, out of the shit ton of people there. So it felt like he was just being an asshole by basically, like, you know, dropping a fucking... 
I felt like I was seeing a, a redditor trying to outsmart me IRL, but it was it was just not okay. I felt so attacked, so so insulted, so degraded. Hmm. Onward and upward, except we're going downward. Oh, this looks cool. What's this? It's a Golem Eox, Ancient Stone Soldier. Bro looks metal AF, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Maybe he throws boulders and I need to launch the boulders. Yo! I need to... Oh, shit! I see what I need to do. Hold up. <laughs> this is so cool! No, this is so badass! I mean, it's not that overly interactive, but this is still fun to look at. Come on! It's hammer time! He got me! I've been got! Not very often you fight mechanical bosses inside of uh, Zelda. It kind of feels like a rare treat, I'm not gonna lie. Shit. You know what's honestly not a hot take? Um, apparently... I Well, I used to think it was a hot take. But, like, the temples inside of Twilight Princess are, like, some of the best in all of Zelda. Which I thought that would have been a hot take so long ago. But no, apparently a lot of people agree that uh, Twilight Princess has some of the best temples in all of Zelda. See, like, I personally thought a lo most the majority of Zelda fans didn't like Twilight Princess. But I guess like the older or like the older it's gotten, the more people have fallen in love with it. Like it's gotten nostalgia for all the people that fucking hated it. And now they're like, God damn it, it's so good. Really? Come on. Fuck. Shit! No! Fuck, I was looking up instead of down! Yes! Its face is exposed! Expose him! Expose him! Oh, hell yeah. I think I understand, but that's okay. I don't understand. I'm so confused. Oh. I got you. I can't ride on this map. I didn't plan on riding on this map, but what I did plan on doing switching to the spirit of fire we need damage damn it we no longer will have fear we'll have courage and with courage we shall gain power
Yes! Okay, that was honestly probably one of the coolest boss fights they've had in this game. That was like an incredibly active boss fight, even though it did just use the item. Like, I do think that a lot of the boss fights in Zelda can be very lame. Um, the main time they usually end up being lame is whenever you get a bow or something. That's when they tend to be lame. Because they get very uninteresting and uninspired. But stuff like that is fucking awesome. I, I really do think that uh, Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass have some fun boss fights. I know Spirit Tracks has got a lot of good ones. Against all odds. There's one that I remember to this day that was really good, and I played it like forever ago now. Like, I can't even... How's that? Ah, so you are the one who restored silence to our temple. My name is Muto. I am the king of the great Cobble Kingdom. Only the true hero would have s would have. God damn it! You're talking like that. Only the true hero would have with him the three spirits of the Ocean King. Not to mention the. And now you're talking like that, bro. Pick a side. Fuck you! Not to mention the ability to defeat the foul beast. I know what you seek. So you say the Ocean King is in dire trouble. I can't help my current state, but your presence gives me great confidence. I will give you the sacred treasure, the Aquanine. Please take it with you. I will now return to my blissful slumber. We are all counting on you to help the Ocean King. I totally was trying to read it in a cool manner, and this motherfucker really hit me with the let me talk all proper, ancient-like, and then let me switch it the fuck up and talk like... Some random fuck. Come on. Come on. You did it. You got the pure metal from the island, Link. Come on, let's hurry back to Linebeck. <laughs> Linebeck. Oh, I need to go ahead and get... Die of Wisdom. Alright. Wow, it's, only, it's, only, it's already been 40 minutes. Well, we got our, uh, we got our dungeon done, so that's nice at least. I wasn't sure how much time the dungeon would honestly take, but fun time. Also, I'm so glad I devised, devised this method of playing, because can I just say I can actually fucking play the game now? Like, I thought I'll, I thought I was being a little bit extra, but I just need to play it in shorter bursts. But having to pick it up and then immediately hurting my hand afterwards as well? No. I'm good. I'm absolutely, positively playing like this for now on whenever I go to play these uh, DS games like this. Because there's just no reason to kill my hand for no reason, you know? Uh, Alright, what do you think, Linebeck? What's that? You got it! You got the pure metal link? Well, what are we still doing here then? Let's go! Yes! Alright then, get on board! We're setting sail! So, um, I don't know when I'm going to stop this. I'll probably stop it whenever I uh, make the new weapon or whatever and then go off of that. We'll see. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slate. I'm going to C chart. And I think I need to go over here. Yep, I need to go up and around. We got to go around town. Around town. Take a one right step. Don't forget it. You know, as we all watched SpongeBob when we were younger, that or I'm getting older by the day. And I very well could have. I could. I very well could be. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the shows I got at my age, or like when I was younger. I honestly do feel like a lot of the shows when I was younger were like all decent enough. Like, Victorious was rather interesting. Our Carly was rather interesting. I had I had Phineas and Ferb. Um, you know, I technically, around the end of it, I had Amazing World of Gumball, Gravity Falls, Adventure Time, Regular Show. Like, I actually got a pretty good handful of uh, good shows when I was younger. While, like, if you go before, like, a slightly older shows... Oh, I even got Mystery Inc. for... Uh, what was it for, um... 
Mystery Inc. for Scooby-Doo. But, like, I, when I go back and see, like, the 90s Nickelodeon shows, oh my god. I think there's, like, one called something in Stimpy, and then, like, Cat Dog, and then some Cow and Chicken or something. Those are so fucking cursed. When I talk about I would literally have nightmares watching shit like that. Like, so, I mean, I'm not one for, like, you know... I don't, I don't really care about, you know, censoring stuff, because I watched whatever as a kid. But, like, I, I would rather, I don't, I don't know if I'd rather a child watch 300 or, like, those fucking shows. Because they'd be so weird. Like, the fact that I'd see a, a some random creepy sausage looking character spitting in his hands, rubbing his nipples, and then having a fucking saw taped to his waist while he pelvic thrusts to cut wood over some other cartoon character's ass. What are these cartoons, bro? What the fuck were they watching in the 90s? <laughs> the spring is filled with mysterious light. I mean, Ed and Nettie gave me more bad dreams than 300 ever did. See, Ed and Nettie were chill. Ed and Nettie was hilarious. Ed boy! You now face the helmet of- the hat of judgment! All has been forgiven. Come forth, spirit of courage, using the gems that Link has collected. You must now recall the true extent of your spirit power. Oh, nice. It could get whack, though. I mean, it would get whack, but, like, I actually never found it really unsettling. Your sword now hur hurls shock waves. Swap spirits from the collection screen. Oh, nice. So it's like a little bit of range then. I mean, I guess I could see it. Like, they definitely had, what was it? The episode where Ed had um, something stuck in his shoe. Bro was not okay. Like, not even a little bit. Ed was not okay when he had something stuck in his shoe. Bro was falling the fuck apart when there was something in his shoe. And then, you know what? I don't blame him. I don't like stuff stuck in my shoe either. Um, did you ever watch the uh, Ed, Ed, Nettie movie, Sea of Birches? Because I've watched the entire series and the movie. And I, I absolutely love the movie. Was it Isle of Ember that was the one I needed? My memories of that of that show were like continuous acid trip, so I have no idea. Damn. Yeah, because I honestly very much loved Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That was another really good show for me as well. Oh my god, and Total Drama Island? I love Total Drama Island as well. Because I remember watching Total Drama Island. See, I think my love for, for fucking self-absorbed assholes started a long time ago. Like, you know, you've got characters like the fucking host from Total Drama Island being an absolute self-absorbed a-hole, and I fucking love that dude. Like, yeah, no. My, I think, I, think I, I, I started enjoying characters like that so long ago. And I mean, I kinda, that's kind of why I like Iron Man. I fucking love Iron Man. I hope that Robert Downey Jr. does a pretty good job as Doctor Doom, though. I hope that he actually plays a villain and doesn't play Iron Man but a villain. Like, I hope he actually does play a different character, but I have faith in his acting range. I don't have faith in Disney's, in uh, Marvel's vision, but I do have faith in, da in uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s acting. So you found the three pure metals, Link. I'm not surprised. You have always been the true hero chosen by the Ocean King. Well then, please hand me the pure metals. The Crimson Nine, the Azure Nine, and the Aqua Nine. I've never seen metal like this. I bet I can forge a mighty sword with them. But it will take some time. Boom. Boom. 
Oh. You do it. Watching smithing IRL is pretty cool. <laughs> Forging a great magical sword is not a simple task. Have some patience. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go fuck off for a little bit. Special delivery! This is a letter from Jolene. Ahem. Should be a good one. <laughs> oh god, bro even knows. Little boy in green, so you got me, and got me good. Humiliation burns hot in my pirate blood. And so, my mind is haunted with this one. Soaring word. Revenge! Yes. I demand a rematch to see who's truly the strongest on the sea. I've sharpened my skills since last we clashed. I'm an un I am unbeatable! All will fall beneath my blade. Oh yes, somewhere on these vast seas our paths will cross again. If you have any honor at all, you will meet me in battle one last time. The mighty she-pirate, Jolene. And that's all it says. Bit disturbing, wasn't it? Were you just challenged to a duel? Get that often? Whoa, first threatening letter I've seen. Okay, sign here, sir. Hopefully she doesn't defeat you. Jolene, 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 Jolene! Welcome in, cho Chocolates Girl, first time viewer. Also, why is my face <laughs> the fucking signature? <laughs> Who's, what fucker told me to draw my own face as the signature? This was so long ago now that I literally don't even fucking remember. Should I change the signature or should I just leave it as my face? Fair question for chat. I need to know. That's like, right. When did I, when the fuck? Because this had, to, this was like a year ago. Cause like, when my Wii U broke is when I fucking did this shit, and I got it fixed recently so I can play again. Yeah, I'm just gonna fuck it, bro. I'm going with it. Woo! Thanks much. You made my day, sir. I'm walking on air. You're actually flying, but whatever. But yeah, welcome in, Childless Girl. What brought you in? Am I talking to a big Zelda fan? I imagine. You're not actually going to accept it, are you? Of course. You know you don't have to respond to her ranting and raving, don't you? She's your crazy friend. Why does Link get stuck in the middle of this? She can't deal with people who are stronger than she is, that's all. People are jealous. They see my handsome face and have to challenge me. They just don't understand that Limebeck's true love is peace. What I'm saying is, I avoid a fight wherever and whenever I can. There's just something about her that doesn't seem quite right. I can't deal with her anymore, Link! But there's a part of me that would like to, s to set Jolene straight. And only you can do that, kid. Just show her how weak she really is. We've got to show her how crazy she is and restore peace to the seas, I guess. Always thinking about yourself. So what should we do, Link? We can't just ignore her, and it seems like Zaz needs some time. Maybe we should go check things out. Fuck it. I knew you'd say that. I should have said what I knew you'd say. All right, crazy Jolene. We're coming for you. Prepare to set sail, kid. Heck yeah. All right, all right. What's your favorite Zelda game, Chocolate Girl? And do not worry, even if you give a hot take, I am literally made of hot takes, so you will not have any any salt from the edgy gamer. Um, I guess I'm just gonna be sailing until we get there, so I'm just gonna go south until we maybe run into Jolene. Oh, perfect, I actually need money, thank you. Be a very slow way of getting money, but it'll be getting money nonetheless. Also, I fucking love this like little active mini game to get money. The only problem is whenever it spawns enemies, and then you actively can't fucking keep up with it. Or like when it spawns three of these things and they start separating, like they are right now. And there's only a set fire rate for this thing. Hell yeah. Oh Jesus, where the fuck did she come from? I'll break your ship in two no matter where you run on this fast sea. Stay put! Ambush! Oh no. Phantom Hourglass is way up there. Probably Scoured Sword Wii version. 
Fuck yeah, cho Chocolate Girl. I, f I absolutely love Skyward Sword. I would say Phantom Hourglass isn't really that high up there, but I've also not beaten it yet. I will say the biggest thing for me... Ah, I'm happy to see that you are well, boy in green. I've heard about all you were trying to co accomplish. Ha! Huh. Spare me the innocent act. Everyone knows what's going on. Yes, about the monster Bellum and the Phantom Sword that is, is its bane. That is its bane. You there, wooden box. You better listen up too. <gasps> Can I change my... No, I can't. Boy in green, you're attempting something that only a fool would try. Who you... Who you were trying to save is irrelevant. If you face that monster... Your efforts and your life will be wasted. That said, if you have no care for your own safety or survival, well then, face me, for I have perfected the art of pirate fencing. Hold still for a moment. I'm about to get the shit smacked out of me. Nice. That was not good. Ow! Damn it! Come on. So that's I, so what you're seeing right now is probably the number one thing for me in, in these uh, DS games, just the movement. Which I mean, that's mo I feel like that's most people's gripes. Hey Link, what are you doing? After Jolene does a serious attack, she's vulnerable for a moment. Look for patterns in her movements when it's time, aim for her back. I'm trying. What's that noise? Am I hearing things? I'm trying. But like... God. Like, actually dodging out the way. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, no. That's probably the only thing that's holding this game back for me. Is the way that you play it. Yeah, like, I honestly feel a lot of the time that I just... That I just don't have enough complete control of the character. Which is okay, because outside of the uh, the movement and control of the character, I act I honestly do love a lot of things about this game. I love the whole note taking idea. Oh, Jesus, hold up! I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get the fire sword out so I don't have to worry about it as much. Come on! Come on! Attack me! Please! I'd say probably my favorite Zelda is Twilight Princess. Like, after a lot of time spent thinking about it, um, I think some of it's nostalgia and some of it's truly just how much I love the game. I feel like Twilight Princess has pretty much most of what I want from a Zelda game. Um, I mean, I will say I pretty much love all the Zelda games, though. You've been bested! This isn't over yet. Oh, no. Oh, no! She's not giving up, chat! I was hoping she would give up. Come on. You don't want a hammer time? Oh well. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Come on. Attack me if you dare. Girl, give me some space. Give me some breathing room, please. Go for the dash attack. You know you want to. I gotta give it to her. She's not just handing me the win. She is making me fight for it. Holy shit, we got her. Thank God. You're still strong, boy in green. I think I think that what you're attempting to do is crazy, and yet there's something about your stubborn personality that draws me. The one who captivated me so long ago had that same look in his eyes. Boy in green, speak to the man in the crate for me. Advise him that he should take notes, or he might learn something. You! You are a full lineback! So what did Limebeck do to this poor woman? Is what I have to ask. Phew, what is that girl's problem? See, this is why I don't understand women. Linebeck, you were the worst type person to say that. You were actively probably the... I just... Come on. 
<laughs> it just... <laughs> I feel like the Jolene fights are easier on DS, but that might ju be just me. Um, I feel like the game just overall is easier on DS. It's always going to be more awkward with the Wii U. Um, simply because of, you know, it being on a fucking gigantic pad. Compa um, comparatively. But regardless, I, uh, I have honestly enjoyed the game pretty thoroughly. Um, I feel like they pr they managed the uh, awkward movement a little bit better inside of uh, Spirit Tracks. See, I'm not I'm not against the handheld or like the way you control. It's just that it does make me feel like I have less control of Link than I would in other games. But I do think for what they were p using, they did really well. I like Spirit Tracks. I love. I actually really really enjoy Spirit Tracks. How exactly do you know that woman? Oh, well. It was a while ago. I was just cruising through these waters. Anyway, I happened to sail by just as her ship was attacked by a monster. What can I say? I slammed into the beast with my ship and saved the day. Wow. That's impressive. Well, if I'm being totally honest here, I was just trying to get away, see? I sort of lost control of my ship, and it just happened to strike the beast. So after that, Jolene and I traveled together for a time, but... Pretty soon I realized the two of us... We're from different worlds. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but she was a lot tougher than I. Hey, hey, that's okay, Linebeck. I love strong women. Almost, I'm pretty sure, basically, I'm sure every single woman I've dated has been stronger than me. So that's, I mean, that's fair. I mean, I'm 114 pounds, so that's entirely, that's not a hard thing to do. But regardless, no, I love it. I, I was, I was, I was fostered into that, into that mentality at a young age. I started off playing Metroid Prime. I was already into strong women instantly, like that. I mean, they may be emotionally unstable and, you know, c cursed with the DNA of aliens, but strong women nonetheless. Plus, I just wasn't cut out for the rough and tumble life of a pirate. Y'all yeah, always preferred the laid-back style of just sneaking off with treasure. Anyway, Jolene and I started seeing less and less of each other. I knew I had to end it, and well, you know. What? Well, I made off with some of her treasure. You fucking asshole. You terrible man. Linebeck, how could you? Haha, <laughs> anyway. Ever since Jolene has, been Jolene has been trying to get her revenge on me. The thing is, it wasn't even that great of a treasure. I didn't think it was worth so much that she'd follow me around like this. That is one persistent woman, let me tell you. Oh, Linebeck. You really are dense, aren't you? Linebeck, you dumb, you dumb piece of shit. Ah. <sighs> Makes sense. Strong women greater than. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking lutely Chat knows how it is. Chat knows how it is. But yeah, no, I totally started off. I That's not even like an... Like, I, I had it... There was the only chance of me liking frail women in my life would have been had I for some reason latched onto Zelda. And even then, it depends on the game you're talking about. But like, genuinely... Up. I do not want to fight them right now. Yeah. Turn to port! Turn to port! Cool. Uh, but yeah, no. I well, a lot of the games, because I know this is your first time in here, uh, Chaga Scroll. I personally played a lot of different games when I was younger, and a lot of them involved Final Fantasy 13 that had Lightning Farron, Metroid Prime, which had Samus Aaron. Funny that their name ri their name rhyme. Um, then I also. You know, I played, um, oh god, I know those were two really big ones for me. What's another one? I played quite a few other games with strong female characters. Oh shit, yeah! So I played, um, Might and Magic Clash of Heroes, which has, uh, the elf, uh, I think the elf girl? She's a pretty strong female, um, female lead character inside of that, which was like a DS strategy game. I remember her in there. Um, then you had... Not really the... Um, then I also... What was it? Oh, yeah, and then Jezebeth, Jezebeth, the succubus from that game as well. She was a strong female character. For the right reasons? Probably not. But a strong female character nonetheless. The first thing she does when she sees you is try to subject you to horror and torture because she sees a human and she's like, Oh, you pitiful thing. I'm gonna kill you. So, you know, truly made me do, do <laughs> truly encouraged my future. 
Oh yeah. While Devin over here, like he likes to have waifu wars at 3 a.m. with his shitty taste. No, your taste is okay. I don't. Th I don't think you've said any shitty taste yet, but I can tell. Give me your worst take, Devin. Give me. Give me your worst. Hear me out. And it. And do not say Quaylog from Dark Souls. I swear to God. Devin, you don't like characters. You want to fuck characters. There's a difference. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, I did. It's complete. It's perfect. Dude, that's literally just the blade. You did, where's the hilt? Please take it, Link. Just, okay. okay. <laughs> it dead ass is just the sword blade. I love that. It doesn't have a handle, so you can't hold it. Huh? This sword doesn't have a handle to hold it with. It's still not complete. Hmm. I cannot call it truly complete without a handle. Take the... <laughs> Bro's over here gaslighting me. He's, what the fuck is this pyramid scheme of a blacksmith thing you have going on right now? Take this blade to the Ocean King. He will add the sand of hours. Only he can empower... Only he can prevent wildfires and empower the phantom sword with the ability to control time. Got it. Thank you. Come on. Let's hurry up and go to Grandpa Link. This is part of why I love this one. There's so much comedy. Dude, right? That's why I fucking love Zelda. There's so much funny stuff in Zelda. I feel like Zelda is not afraid to be a little wacky, you know? Like, it's not afraid to be serious, but also a little little strange at the same... Oh, shit. I have laundry. Give me a second, chat. I don't want to have musty-ass, dirty-ass laundry. I'll be right back. Oh!
They pair wackiness with drama in a way the way that only Nintendo can. Yeah, I think I enjoy Nintendo, and especially because, like, you know, I, um... A Nintendo enjoyer. Actually, you know what? That's actually curious. Uh, Chocolate Scroll, what are some of the uh, Nintendo franchises you play? I imagine you play the classic ones like Zelda and Mario. <gasps> I have played Crash Bandicoot. I have not played Spyro yet. What game was I going to play? Oh, no, I've already started it. Never mind. I was going to say, I think I was going to play Spyro after I beat uh, Three Hopes, but they came out with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and now I'm playing that, so... But I'll be playing it eventually. It's just Pokemon Mi Mystery uh, Dungeon came out, so I have to play that. It's so good. It's so good, Devin. Okay. There we go, chat. Now my clothes will not go bad. Do that. All right. We're going on a journey, Linebeck. What? You want to go to the old man? Fine, fine. Let's set sail already. All aboard! We're off to the sea! Yeah, because I'm a big fan of Nintendo games. I've played Nintendo games for the majority of my life. And even nowadays, it's like the games that I really go back to and like have the most fun with are usually Nintendo games. The only exception being like Dark Souls and a few other like specific titles. But overall, Nintendo games. Like, I think right now, I've been, I'm playing, you know, Zelda, Pokemon, and uh, Fire Emblem. I don't know if you'd consider Fire Emblem as, like, a Nintendo thing. I think they're con considered a Nintendo thing. I mean, they're on Nintendo consoles, yes. But I don't know if you'd consider that a specific Nintendo. Who makes Fire Emblem? Japanese fantasy tactical roleplay. Uh, franchise developed by Intelligent Systems and published by Nintendo. Okay, so, like, kind of Nintendo. I genuinely fucking apologize, chat. I can only imagine what it sounds like to have my coffee scrape my fucking microphone. That was probably atrocious. I... Fuck, I should be giving you guys donos for that. That was probably ear destruction. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I'm actively sorry about that. Um, well, that's awesome. Dude, Pikmin's so good. That's actually going to be one of the games that I eventually play on stream. I have never played Pikmin 1 or 2 or 4. Or Let's Go Pikmin or Hey Pikmin, I think it's called. Yeah, no, it's called Hey Pikmin. It's Let's Go Pikachu. Yeah, no. I've not played Pikmin 1, 2, 4, or Hey Pikmin. I plan on playing Pikmin 1 and 2 using the, uh, the Switch release. I'll be playing that one eventually. And then I'll be doing my pick, because I own Pikmin 3. I can play Pikmin 3. And then eventually I'll be playing um, Pikmin 4. Um, I'll be getting to that eventually. That's Right now I'm kind of catching up on all the games that I do own. Because, like, uh, here, let me load this real quick. Uh, create. Yes. Like, you know, as it stands on my Wii U, because I finally fixed my Wii U. Here, I'll show you guys. Yeah, on my Wii U, I have all these all these other games. Let me see. I don't know if it'll show up. No, it's gonna show up, show up on my bottom screen, and it'll look a little awkward. Uh, that's fine. Let's see how how, how good it shows. Yeah. So if you here, let me. there you go. So right behind we have the I have the, you know the original Legend of Zelda's. I have Zelda Zelda One, Zelda Two. Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Minish Cap, Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, 3D World, the Metroid Prime Trilogy, the three early Fire Emblem games, I think they're called, Fire Emblem, Sacred Stones, and Shadow Dragon. I've never played any of those. I've never played those uh, Fire Emblem games. As a Fire Emblem fan, I have only ever played Fire Emblem Three Houses and Fire Emblem Three Hopes. But if you want to stick around, um, Chocolates Girl, I will actually be playing Fire Emblem Three Hopes later tonight. Because I've been falling. The story is so good. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I've been told that the uh, Fire Emblem games usually have really good story. I really hope the other Fire Emblem games have as good a story as Three Hopes or, or Three Houses whenever I play it. But I fucking love Three Houses and Three Hopes so much. Their stories and characters are so good. I love their stories and characters. 
But yeah, here in like a little bit, I'll be switching over, so. I was planning on fixing the sword and then hopping over. Because usually when I get, get on Three Hopes, since it's hack and slash, it takes me a couple of hours to get anything done. Because that game is so time consuming. But, and I'm getting closer to the ending, so I'm trying to finish it up a little bit. Oh there, friend. Try tapping on me. Why? Are you dabbing? Yep, that's how it's done. Just... Are you literally tutorialing me right now? Rose actually hitting me with the tutorial. Calm down. Also, the various we we uh, me games. All oh, the me games are so good. The fucking um, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort were so good. I specifically played so much of Wii Sports Resort. So you were able to get the Sacred Blade forged. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to cut my fucking head off. You must guard it well. It is very important. With it, you can make a sword to defeat Bellum. Hand me the Phantom Hourglass, Link. Bro, oh, snap that shit right on my hand. <laughs> Bellum is the evil that consumes life. Holy shit. That was aggressive, old man. Damn. Who hurt you? He can attack with furious strength. He can also use the power he stole to deflect attacks. The only item that can slay him is the Phantom Sword. I was not expecting this. This is an interesting idea for how to get the sword. I was, yeah, I was not expecting this at all. Oh, and it's a little different too. So it's not the ma it's not specifically the master sword. It is actually different. That's fucking cool. You got the sacred phantom sword. It looks good. Oh, and the little hourglass. The mighty sword has the power to defeat Bellum. Oh, is the hourglass in the middle of it? Is that where it went? Okay, I was about to say, without the hourglass, I can't go in the temple anymore. But I guess, okay, so it's just inside the sword. Rare metals and mystical sands are fused together. And so the phantom sword is born. With that, you can defeat Bellum. We're all counting on you, Link. Yoink, isn't it so cool? You're gonna be jaw dropped. No, that was. That is so fucking cool. I'm, I love the way they handled that. That was badass. Celia! What's the matter, Grandpa? Some of your memories remain buried, so you may not know this. But you still have powers yet to discover. As the spirit of courage, you can harness the true power of the hourglass. What powers? I don't remember a thing. Bellum can drain the life from people as well as their very memories. Your memory was drained when you were attacked. I see. So if you defeat him, I'm sure that you'll regain your memories too. Normally I'd be the one to help you in your quest, but please forgive me. It's okay. That nasty Bellum doesn't stand a chance against Link. We'll make a quick work of Bellum and return to you safe and sound. Come on, Link, let's go! We're counting on you. May fortune favor you both in your hour of need. Alright. Well, chat, I will have to find a small stopping point before uh, we go out and figure out where the hell Bellum is. Um, before, I be sw before I'll be switching over to uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. And for anybody who does normally watch me and knows that I tend to disappear for like 20 minutes before my next stream. That will not be happening today. Um, all I have to do is switch one cord and basically plug my controller in. But I'll be doing that. Because I was not prepared to beat the game tonight. I thought we were going to basically still have a shit ton left to do. And so, yeah. And I said I'd play for this game for about an hour. 
And it's been an hour and a half, so that's good enough. But thankfully, I'm glad I figured out how to set this up without hurting my wrists now, finally. Because holding this bitch up like this was killing me. So playing it like it's a laptop right here, it's making it probably a little more awkward so you can't see my face, so I'm a little bit less expressive. But um, it has definitely hurt my hand a lot less. So that I am very happy about, especially for the future of my... Uh, any games I play on here that happen to be DS related. Um, but regardless... I'm off for the night. I hope you have a great rest of stream. Oh, thank you, Chocolates Girl. It was wonderful having you in here, and I hope you have a lovely night as well. I wish you luck on your Nintendo adventures. And let me... What am I doing? Yeah, okay. But Thank you for coming in here during the ending of the stream. Ugh. But as usual, I'll go ahead and do my outro, and then... Uh, that's not right. There we go. Here, let me move this. All right. Thank you all. Thank you all, past and present. Viewer, uh, viewers new and old for coming in here and hanging out with me. I look forward to seeing you guys in about 10 minutes when I hop on for my next game. But for now, you guys enjoy. And as always, 3, 2, 1. Later, losers. And whatever you do, I guess keep set, um, sailing away from your crazy exes, no matter how much they chase you across the ocean, because... I like I like to think I'm a better man than Linebeck. My god, bro is a mess. Also, I am pasty. <laughs>